Hi and welcome back to Knots by Lainey. I'm Lainey and today we will be making a Halloween pillowcase. I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step of how I go from creating the design to actually making a functional pillowcase. So let's get started. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you how I turn a design into a grid for me to crochet. So I started with Canva. I made a design and a font I liked um, with a shadow effect. And then I chose colors that were similar to yarn colors I had. So I chose a dark purple, which I have the big twist um, purple that I'm going to use. Then I chose a, I believe this is light purple or lilac, I can't remember, a big twist. And then I have the Bernat um, grass for my green lettering. So I chose my colors based off of yarn I already had. I make up the mock-up on Canva, which is, I'm using the free program, so everything I'm doing you can do absolutely for free. And then you're going to save this image. So now we're on Stitch Fiddle. You're going to choose what kind of craft you're doing. So I'm crocheting. Then we're going to do crochet color work. This allows us to put in a picture of our choice. So I'm going to go to photo library. I'm going to insert that photo that we ma made in Canva. And then I'm going to go over here and choose size. So for size, we're going to go to the size calculator, stitch count here. Let me grab my keyboard, pull it over here for you. Okay. So for a four inch square, According to Big Twist, we're going to have 13 single crochet by 14, which I know is correct with my gauge on a five millimeter hook. So I'm going to put um, 13 across, 13 across, <laughs> and then down here I'm going to put 14 high. And then over here, for what size we actually want the pillowcase that I'm making, I have an 18 inch pillow. So over here, I'm going to write 18, ooh, 18, and then I'm going to hit apply. Now it's going to calculate for me how big the actual chart needs to be based off of our gauge that we put in there. Then we can do preference for yarn. We can search up Big Twist since I'm using more Big Twist um, value yarn than the Bernat. Save chart and go here and add light purple. Okay, so the first time I did this, it registered my third color. For some reason, it, this time it did not. But what you would then do is go in and then you can tap what color you want and fill in the squares in which you want that color. So if I wanted highlights on all of my green text, I could put it in like that. I'm not gonna do the whole chart cause I've already done it, but then you can have the highlights put in there. And let's say, let's say here, for example, here, for example, I don't like that this O is lower, like I would want it straight. So I'm going to tap purple and I'm going to tap these two green dots and adjust it like that. 
and you can play around with it as much as you want and then just save once you're done save your design to your camera roll and here's your finished product so for me i messed around with it quite a bit until i was happy with the shadow effect and then it shows you how many stitches so one through 59 oh, let me pan it so you can see sorry one through 59 and then one through i think 63 is what it gives me for an 18 by 18 inch pillow and then if you've never followed a colorway chart before you're going to start at box one one crochet down this way then you'll be at two crochet this way and so forth all the way back and forth so my first step is going to be chaining 59 and then crocheting 17 rows of just solid purple because row 18 is where or row yeah row 18 is where we start adding our light purple in
hope you enjoyed making the pillowcase with me. If you did, give this a like and subscribe. And I will see y'all next week. Bye. Thank you.